Welcome to the Google Compute Engine and WriteScale demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate how WriteScale integrates with the Google Compute Engine to create a dynamic cloud offering. Let's get started. Here we're logged into the dashboard as a user with access to the Google Compute Engine. This menu displays the Google Cloud resources that WriteScale interacts with. WriteScale integrates with the Cloud's API to create and discover resources within that cloud. The resources you see here are the foundation of WriteScale's powerful management and automation platform. Let's take a look at what that means. We are looking at a deployment with running servers in the Google Compute Engine. These servers are built from unique server templates. A server template is like a blueprint that defines repeatable, automated configuration every time the server is launched. Within a deployment, I can add servers or an auto-scaling array. When viewing a deployment, I can clone the entire environment with a click of a button. You can use the clone feature to produce a copy of a fully functioning environment within minutes. This is helpful for creating sandboxes on the fly for new developers. This video transcoding app is comprised of a deployment of servers running on top of Ubuntu 10.04. In the dashboard, we have a custom widget which shows the architecture of this application. For this architecture, we have three server types, producer, consumer, and queue. The producer reads RSS feeds and sends messages to the queue containing instructions for transcoding jobs. The consumers read messages off the queue, download video files, run the transcoder, and then send the files to Google Storage for persistence. Let's see how this works. Here is the producer server. The info tab shows all the server's details, including its public IP address and the zone where the server launched. Let's take a look at the Audit Entries tab. This is a useful feature for tracking and auditing purposes. Use these audit trails to see who logs in and when. The Monitoring tab displays real-time graphical data for all servers in your deployment. This allows system administrators to monitor the underlying infrastructure of their deployment. They also have the ability to create custom graphs that highlight specific metrics which display overall application health. Now I will demonstrate how to launch a server in this deployment. After choosing the Google Compute Engine, the next step is to select a server template. Let's select the Video Transcode Producer server template. Next, we might want to configure server details. Here I can customize the configuration, such as selecting a specific image or instance type. However, I will use the default settings specified in the server template and launch the server. After clicking Launch, I have another opportunity to dynamically configure the server. The Inputs page allows me to enter values used by the server template scripts, such as usernames or passwords, for specific applications. This server template requires no such values for launch. Now we can see that the server has been created and added to the deployment and is going through the cloud provisioning and booting phases. This concludes the demonstration of how to manage a deployment on the Google Compute Engine using WriteScale. Please contact WriteScale for more information or a live demo. Thank you and have a great day.